part two of servicing the Xmark Laser Z E Series 60 inch uh, lawnmower. Hopefully, you watch part one. This is going to be part two. We're going to be changing uh, on the fluids on the engine and a couple other things, so stay tuned. So next, I'm going to change the air filters. Pretty simple. Pop these off. Pull that off. Simply pull these out. Then you, I'm going to go ahead and clean that out. And then you just push your new ones back in. That simple. All right, new filters, air filters. Take the inner one, insert it this way. This in first. Seats up in there in the whole oh, flashlight. Pushes up in that interior hole just like that. Then you take your outer filter, open it in first, and you're going to insert it over it. And it just pushes in there just like that. Then you just put your cover back on, wherever I did was mine. Top. Clips. That's the air filter. Now I'm going to show you how to do the fuel filter. Fuel filter, put your little rag down to catch the gas. Get some little channel locks and squeeze these tabs and slide them off to the ends. And take your pliers and kind of grab the fuel line there to hold it. That way, why you twist the filter so it'll come off easier. Then you just pull it off and we put the new one on. Okay, so we remove the old filter and we're going to put the new filter on. Note the flow so it's going to be sucking fuel out of the fuel tank and flowing it into the engine. So this is the correct way. So make sure you. You could put it on backwards, so make sure you look at that and get it on the right way. Then just put your fuel filter back in uh, the fuel lines and move your clamps back on. And then remember to turn your fuel back on. I turned mine off, you don't have to, but I just did anyway. But if you turn it off, make sure you turn it back on or else it won't start. So next, I'm going to do the spark plugs. Uh, I'm going to remove this front spark plug boot and then uh, remove the one back here and then we'll put the spark plugs in. Alright, so we'll remove the spark plugs. Spark plugs are a 13 16 The one in the back you'll want to get an extension. And the spark plugs that we're putting in are a NGK a BPR. 4ES. They came in the kit. There's two of them. So we'll go ahead and move the back one. And we'll remove the front one. Okay, we're removing the front one. You don't need an extension for this one because it won't fit with it. And again, it's a 1360. Alright, so we're installing the new spark plugs. And then they torque to 16 foot pounds. After you install those, I like to go ahead and put a little dielectric grease in here. You don't have to, but I prefer to. And then uh, let's put spark plug. We'll tighten it down in the front, 16 foot pounds, and then we'll move on to changing the oil. All right, so now we're going to drain the oil. You use a 15 millimeter wrench to hold, or a 18 millimeter wrench to hold this, so they get an 18 millimeter socket and break this nut loose. 
That's how you drain the oil. And you can come up here, loosen this. Dipstick, and it'll flow a little bit faster. So then I got that started draining. I'm gonna take my jack and lift the front end up a little bit just so we can make sure we get all the old oil out before we fill it back up. And then next, I'll, uh, after this drains out, I'll show you how to remove the oil filter and uh, install the new one. All right, so to remove your oil filter, you come over here. I don't have an oil filter wrench that small, so I just use some bigger channel locks to break it loose. And you just unscrew it. A new oil filter if you don't want to buy this in the kit uh, part number is four nine zero six five dash seven zero zero seven and that is the uh, part number for the oil filter so we'll go ahead and take our oil and we'll lube this o-ring up and then we'll uh, put it back on now this this kit comes with a little information sheet. Um, kind of just tells you, you know, the spark plug gaps and um, fuel filter removal. Basically, a step by step uh, instruction sheet on how to do this. So, if you're pretty mechanical, don't waste your money taking it to a dealer. I mean, this is pretty straightforward, basic stuff, and you can do it yourself and save yourself a lot of money. Or if you just want to take it to the dealer, that's fine too, but I prefer to do mine myself because it saves me a little money, and I'm pretty comfortable with doing most of this stuff. But even, even if you don't know anything about it, I mean, you can kind of read this, and it, I mean, run the engine until the oil's more, make sure it's on a level surface. I mean, it's pretty straightforward gives you the torque specs of everything, how much oil, and if you get the kit, it comes with the oil. So, again, I'm going to lube this oil seal uh, o-ring up on this filter, replace it, wait for the remaining oil to drain out here, and then we'll get it put on and get the new oil put in it. Alright, so I lube the oil filter o-ring, so now we're going to go ahead and and also I clean the, the base here where it mounts, make sure you do that, and we're going to go ahead and install the oil filter. And make sure it starts and spins freely, otherwise you could have it cross-threaded. And just tighten it down, about hand tight. Then once you start it and run it, just check it and make sure it doesn't leak. So usually hand tight's tight enough. Once all your oil's drained, go ahead and reinstall your drain plug and it tightens to uh, 61 inch pounds. So this nut here, just get your 18 millimeter wrench here and your torque wrench and tighten this to 61 inch pounds before you fill it. So now that that's, that's installed, we're going to go ahead and we've got our oil filter put back on. So now we're going to fill it up with oil. Alright, so clean out your funnel good. We'll go ahead and put our two quarts of oil in here. Alright, so another couple little things you might check if you're 
cleaning up or servicing your mower is this control panel here. It's held on by four 10 millimeter bolts. I had never taken this off before, but I removed it. There was so much grass built up in here and all these wires and it was just unbelievable how much grass was in there. But I cleaned all that out and re-greased uh, these plugs, some uh, dielectric grease. I took all these off and put some more grease in them so they don't be corroded. And I shot a little WD-40 down in these uh, choke and throttle levers so they don't make sure they don't get all rusted up or anything so cleaned all this out I'm going to go ahead and bolt it back on alright so there's four grease certs on this motor that you want to hit uh, one's in the back and is located right here on the back of the mower you can look under here it's about in line with the back of the tires and the other one if you lower the deck all the way down you can see it right there and the manual says it only takes like I think it says two or three squirts of grease and that's it and then on your front wheel pivots you Pull these plugs out and put in a grease cert and uh, grease those. One on that wheel and one on that wheel. Also, it says take some oil, lubricate uh, your deck lift pivots with that. Just use WD 40, uh, lubricate uh, your squirt some WD 40 in these rollers on your parking brake. And that's about all the stuff you got to lubricate. I'm going to read on to this manual and see if there's anything else. And if there is, I'll get back with you. All right, if you need to put new blades under yours, I put new blades under mine. They're pretty simple. And I just remove this bolt. And then you want to make sure you grease it either with grease or some copper anti-seize before you install your new blades and then each one of those gets torqued to 50 to 60 foot pounds also it's a good time to check your wheels your anti-scalping wheels up front this one was pretty loose uh, the bolt itself was loose so I tightened it up so Check the levelness of your deck. Uh, mine was out a little bit. Uh, you can adjust the front here and adjust the rear here on all four corners. Uh, how you do that, you put it in number three. And then that should mean that your blades are three inches. So you want to measure the tips on the front, front and back. And each tip on the front side of the blade should measure three inches. So just adjust them either up or down accordingly uh, to get your correct measurement. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my seat back on and put the guards on and I think I'm gonna be ready to go. This is how you service your x -Mark mower. All right, I got the seat back on, so we're ready to go now. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, be sure to hit that like button. And also, if you missed uh, part one, you can view that on my YouTube channel. It's 4M Ranch. Just search that and it'll be under there under uh, Xmark uh, Laser Z Service Part 1. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.